to bring the message of peace, the message, the message of life, the message of love. That is the evangel, the gospel. That is the gospel message. And I, I am happy to, to work with young people and to encourage them to, to follow, to follow Reichen vision, love and uh, compassion. As Xavierian brother, I think it is our our what can I say? Our quality, yeah? our quality, to be there as a sign of love and compassion to to the world. As far as work is concerned, nobody could reproach me not to have worked enough. But you, all of you, could approach me not to have prayed enough. I should commit more time to prayer. And it's still now, I, although I am older, so I have so many concerns and so, and why pray? How could we do this and how could we do that? I don't believe that a religious life has a good future, has a future uh, without excellent communities. I think that communities are the first condition to have a future. That's my deep conviction. During a sharing, they told me that we always see you like one of us, not as the religious, uh, who is thinking that he's special, is someone who knows everything, but someone who is one of us, because you also ask our advices, our point of view. So I was very astonished and um, I think maybe it is a, some kind of a part of ordinariness. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know that that, wa that the way I'm behaving, but they told me one day that we feel that you are one of us, so. <laughs> Somewhere there's a place for the religious life form whether it's, whether it's in the midst of the structure, what does religious life give? Whether it's in the midst of a free-blowing spirit, what's the place of a, My real feeling is, as brothers, I'll just say it the way I usually say it, we really need to live authentically as brothers. If we live as brothers to the men and women that we work with to the, in an appropriate way, live as brothers, you know, with the students, the people that, um, that enter our lives, you know, whether they be just co-workers or whether they be our family. If we can live as brothers in the spirit sense of brothers, of equality, of respect for each other, of being able to be honest, even to the degree of times of arguing through things. If we can do that with love, then the place of a brother is a vital, a vital dimension of what the life of God would, must be like. Yes, I have um, to say first thanks to all Xavier and brothers, because I'm not uh, very well than others, or I'm not very good than others. I'm not a, a good brother than others. Uh, uh, I failed sometimes, and brothers always give me that support. So for me, that is a, 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 one of the best things I always experience in my life, that support of my brothers. Uh, that, that's why I give them thanks. And I hope that uh, it, uh, they will continue to support me. Uh, to support my gift, to support also my um, my my fails. I don't know that the word maybe. Yeah. So I think they continue to, to support me uh, in order for me to realize uh, my dream. The good that I believe comes from us coming together as associates and as a community is that we're able to experience the Spirit of God in, in a very special way. I, I, I liken it to um, celebrating someone's birthday. And, and I think that, you know, if it's someone's birthday and you go up to them and you say, happy birthday, 
that's nice, or if another person says happy birthday, that's nice. But when you come together for a birthday party and a celebration, all doing the same thing and celebrating a person, that gives a special energy and a special grace. And I think when we can come together as people of faith, that gives us a grace to continue the journey.